What's going on guys? Jibran here from Photographers on YouTube and today we're going to talk about newborn photography. Now this is the second part. I've already done part one which was really really basic shoot. Today we're just going to kick it up a notch, take it to an inter inter intermediate level and then you know we'll do a, a third part where we'll use a bean bag and talk about you know how you pose uh, the baby using the bean bag. But today we're still going to uh, talk about relatively easy stuff so you can build your confidence um, that will take you up to the to the next level. All right. Uh, number one, like I said, posing people are not very comfortable with, okay, especially if they're just starting out. So what I have found is that posing newborn in a basket or on a flat surface, like even on a floor, you put a nice blanket, uh, you know, on the floor and put the baby on top that or even using a bench, a nice bench that can give you um, some texture. Posing the newborn that way, it's much faster um, and it's more, uh, I don't want to use the word convenient, but it's, uh, it really, if you're on a, if you don't have a lot of time, you know, baby is sort of crying and all that, you know, basket, flat service, using bench or floor, uh, it's much faster that way. So may, if you're struggling, try using these things. Just stuff the basket with um, towels, put the blanket on top, place the baby in there. If, if they're, you know, moving or you feel they're about to cry, pat them on the back. You know, once they fall asleep, then you can just start um, shooting again. Number two, how do you prevent the baby from crying? Well, sometimes we have no control over it because sometimes uh, they have gas. You know, if their stomach is hurting, they're, they're going to cry no matter what, okay? Um, but let's assume they don't have this issue. Then make sure that the baby is fed before you come because if baby is hungry when you arrive, uh, baby is going to cry and then next thing you know, you know, the mom spending another 15, 20 minutes feeding the baby you're going to have to end up spending extra time, okay? So make sure you communicate that with your client, okay? So we're going to do the shoot at this time. Make sure the baby is fed. Number two, temperature. The temperature of wherever you're shooting uh, the baby has to be high. In, in the mom's uh, womb, it's pretty warm temperature. So they say 80 to 90 degrees, okay? Um, if make sure the AC is definitely off because the baby's clothes are going to be off and they don't feel very comfortable um, like that um, if the temperature is uh, is low. So have a portable heater if, if the client's not going to turn on the heat for the entire place have a portable heater just you know place it where the baby is and once they're warm they basically will sleep through the whole shoot so temperature is, is very crucial and make sure they're they're well fed now sometimes I do newborn stuff even outdoors but you can't do that when the temperature is low okay so summertime you can take advantage of um, outdoor as well as long as the temperature outside is warm enough for the baby number three be creative if you are not using let's say bean bag to do these creative posing you have to come up with other alternative alternatives to make up for that okay so I bought this doll bed this is intended for dolls I saw this came up with an idea maybe use a newborn in this it was unfinished like this okay it's like 25 bucks 30 bucks something like that um, and I stained it myself and you don't have to do an amazing job you can see this is this is just getting by stained it and put the baby in there again flat service it's much easier much faster to to pose them here than on a bean bag I'm not saying that posing in the bean bag is very difficult we'll talk about that in our you know third or fourth video um, you know whatever you have around you just just use that in a creative way um, I saw this heart decided to take a picture through the heart okay 
So be, be creative. I saw one picture where the father was a firefighter and they used his boots. They placed two boots there and in one of them they basically stuffed um, towels, make, you know, made it all soft for the baby, placed the, the baby in there and he's sitting there sleeping and they took a picture. It, it just looked really, really nice. And this way the client can relate to the picture as well. So find out you know what the parents do you know for a living I mean sometimes yeah it's kind of rude you know you're directly asking them these questions but let them know why you're asking these questions just in case if you can incorporate something into the shoot maybe the dad is into sports or something you know you can use that um, and incorporate that in your um, in your shoot number four use hats use uh, these cute hats the quickest way to add variety these you know buy these hats uh, some may fit the newborn some may not but have a good uh, collection of these and obviously you can't use all of them at once some of them as you can see the tags are still here I haven't even touched them yet um, but use use these hats to add variety to it um, don't wait till the last minute to buy these hats because they may not have the hats at all or you may end up paying regular price. I don't pay a regular price for anything except for you know my camera and lenses equipment. Um, but you know accessories, most of the stuff that I buy, it's all off-season clearance stuff. Okay. If you don't have, if you're on a very tight budget and you don't have enough funds to to buy you know a lot of hats, buy neutral colors. You know if you're gonna buy a pink hat. And someone calls you for a baby boy, a newborn shoot, that's a problem. So start off with neutral colors, maybe. Okay. Number five, composition. All right, composition. You know, a lot depends on where you're shooting this. If you have the opportunity to go outdoors, if the weather is warm, um, obviously you can incorporate, you know, greenery, uh, flowers, things like this into your shoot any sort of pattern um, but don't forget that once you take that shot you can also if you're taking let's say in in a landscape position you can always turn around your camera and take a shot in portrait position and that's how you change up your composition and then you can do you know a couple of close-up shots um, you can do overhead shots you know eye level shots so just by using different types of shots you're just going to add more variety to your composition okay number six lighting when you get to the location where you're going to do this newborn shoot look around and find out where the light is coming from sometimes the light is flat if uh, like a couple times when I shot outdoors the lighting was 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 flat it was it was even which is fine I'm not saying it's bad but look for opportunities where the light may be coming from an angle okay if the sun is directly hitting the baby make sure you're using a diffuser to diffuse that light you don't want direct harsh light hitting um, your subject so make sure um, if if there is an opportunity to use that light coming from a window or a door you can open the door and get you know get extra natural light take advantage of that um, keep in mind have your flash with you because sometimes the way light is hitting it may create a lot of shadows on the other side so you may need uh, fill flash to reduce those shadows or you may need a reflector to eliminate those shadows and at last I want to talk about the lenses and aperture I've already talked about it in the first video but just in case if if you guys did not watch that video I'll just say it one more time use prime lenses for your newborn shoot um, the reason why is because you want to shoot at really big aperture like f1.8 um, or f2, f2.2 depending on how sharp your lens is. Uh, my older lens, 50mm uh, 1.8D wasn't um, as sharp as my newer lens so I was shooting uh, around 2.2. 2. The newer lens is much sharper 
So now I get to shoot at f1.8 and you really need that shallow depth of field. You don't want your newborn pictures to be very, very sharp because their skin is peeling off. The, there's a lot of redness in there and you don't want all that stuff to be very prominent. Okay, so make sure you're using a prime lens. Um, I would hi highly recommend 50 millimeter lens. Um, I've used 85 millimeter as well when I really need a shallow depth of field, but you have to have a lot of space for that. So I would say 90% of the times I was using, I, I use a 50 millimeter lens. It's, it's a great uh, you know, focal range in my opinion. So use big aperture, wide open, if, if the quality of your lens is great, um, and you know, prime lens. All right, hope all is well, and if you have any questions, please let me know. There's already a video on how to edit newborn stuff, and, you know, soon I'll talk about where I buy all these hats and, you know, bed and all that stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about newborn prop um, buying guide, kind of, uh, and uh, then we'll do another video where I'll, I'll talk about you know, different bean bags and, you know, how much they cost and, um, and we'll go into posing, uh, the newborn using the bean bag. Real quick guys, if you enjoy my videos, if you learn anything, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I would really appreciate that. Hope all is well. Talk to you guys later.